Don't go in here. I have to see the mayor. He's in a council meeting. He can't be disturbed. I demand that you let me through. I've ridden all night, 80 miles. That's orders. Get out of my way. I you must you not what the men say now. Stop. Out of my I way. said stop. I said stop. I must see the mayor. But the mayor is a danger at council meeting. Let go of me. You'll be sorry if you don't. I'm a relative of the mayor. So am I. So is the whole council. Where's the council room? I won't talk. Cousin Biro! Cousin Biro! Don't make Good. so much noise. They're in a the meeting. Keep quiet. What is this commotion? Cousin Gregor. Cousin Biro. Oh. This is my cousin, the mayor of Tremi. I'm sorry, Uncle. It's Manny. Try to. Cousin Biro, terrible things have happened. Come in here. No. Cousin Gregor! What happened? I've been writing all night. It's a disaster. I'm ruined. Come and sit down. Fetch brandy and water. No water. No water. Now, what is it? What is it? Come on, man. Speak up. What's happened? Flap of thunder, he appeared among us. The postmaster was hanged. The chief of police was let off with 200 lashes. I, I was sentenced to the firing squad. Luckily, my own firm made the rifles and they blew up. I escaped. I need a fresh horse. I must be off at once. A fresh horse for our cousin. Sit down. Sit mm -hmm. down. But I must go. Even now, he may be here in your midst. Who? Speak up, man. Who? The inspector general. Yes. He has full power from the emperor himself. And wherever he finds bribery and corruption, there the gallows and the firing squad go to work. More. What does he look like, this Inspector General? Who knows? A man of mystery. Five days he was in our midst and no one even suspected. He went everywhere, saw everything, and uncovered such corruption that even I was shocked. Don't, don't, don't get excited. Don't get excited. How I envy you to sit here in your clean town and fear no one. The horse is ready, Uncle Biro. I must be off. Poor Gregor. Where will you go? Away, far away, anywhere. Africa, China, with my cousin Biro. Farewell, Uncle. Goodbye. Goodbye, cousin. Do you need any money? You're very kind, Cousin Biro. I have a few crowns. Thank you. Farewell. I would like to take this opportunity to tender my resignation. Effective... Sit down! What would you do? Go back to rolling pills in that stink hole of a chemist shop, you... you poisoner? Well, I promised my wife... I haven't a poison. I'll, I'll talk to my sister about something. Stay where you are! Nothing's to be gained by rushing around blindly. We must proceed according to system. You, Laszlo, clean up the square. See that all the public buildings are spotless. Put patients in all the hospital beds. Yes, Uncle Biro. Utility. Get the children back into school. Start teaching them something, anything. Yes, brother-in-law. You two deliver the mail, all of it, whether you read it or not. I, I never read anything. Yes, you did, don't you remember? Fire! Goodbye, Uncle Biro. Come back. Come back here. I want all roads police day and night. Yes. I want a report of everyone who's entered this town in the past 24 hours. Uh, Check the tavern. Know. Yeah. Investigate all strangers. Well, and I... bring your reports to me personally, you understand? Yes, but first I would like to go to my... First you obey orders. Now get out of here. Thank you, cousin. Put a double guard at the city gates and patrol all roads to Brodney at once. Uncle, what happened? At once! Come with me. Willie, what goes with Uncle General? Shut up! I say come with me! Anything wrong? Be quiet. Uh, be quiet, you! Uh, I shall investigate here. You men go on to the next town. Countrymen approach. Step up, step up. Come close to me for the greatest experience of your life. You will tell your children and grandchildren about it. And first you will be entertained by the greatest musician in the country, direct from the court of the emperor. Hey. And now, good people, step close to my rostrum. 
that you may see all with your own eyes. I, Yakov Guri, physician to princes and crowned heads, have come among you to exhibit absolutely free of charge the wonder of the world unparalleled since the dawn of time. Are you ready, my friends? The Egyptian marvel, the treasure of the pharaohs, behold! Step right up, people. Examine, observe. You there. Who are you? Let me see your peddler's card. Here, Captain. Yakov Guri, an honest professional man from previous. I have testimonials from the Emperor himself. I will... Never mind. You. What about your friend there? Who, he? Uh. <laughs> Captain, don't ride away. Come back, come back. This exhibit welcomes any investigation. Look, my friend. It lives. It breathes. It laughs. It cries. It thinks. Watch its left ear. How much is two and two? Correct! This is not just an old head. This is Prince Ahmed of ancient Egypt, beheaded by the cruel Pharaoh because of his forbidden love for the crown princess. And now, my friends, you ask yourself, how did this miracle survive for over 2,000 years? An excellent question. Only this, Yakov's golden elixir. Look how his eyes plead with me to give him a dose of my elixir. He fairly yearns for his rich, smooth goodness. Here, here, Prince. I am a simple man, my friend. I do not make extravagant claims for my medicine. If a person is already dead, for instance, there's only a slim chance that my medicine will do him any good. But if only a spark of life remains, Yakov's golden elixir will fan it into a roaring fire of health. Uh, how can Yakov cheat those poor people like Why, that? what's the matter? Well, this is the furniture polish he sold yesterday. Come on, hurry up. He is almost through. Yeah, all right, here we go. No, no, you don't wear this. This is testimonial from my grateful customers. Yes, even the great Napoleon himself. Written on the battlefield of Austerlitz. He gives the elixir full credit for the victory. For years I have suffered terrible digestive distress. However, since taking Yakov's miraculous elixir, I no longer find it necessary to continually hold my hand on my stomach. Kindest personal regards, Napoleon. Yakov's elixir. Drink it till you burst. Hey. Yakov's elixir is best for what it's worth. Hey. But why do I tell you these things, my friends, when there is someone here, a sufferer on whom I've looked with compassion when he lay at death's door, unable to move a muscle, paralyzed? Friend, are you aware that you're losing your hair? Do you need money? Have you been on a diet? Are you bothered by quiet? A quiet. A quiet. Nice dance for that fella. <laughs> Do you get colds, a prickly heat, a burning brow, and freezing feet, a leaping pulse, and jumping toes, a falling out, your running nose, and hit? Cups. Do you get hit? Cups. A touch of laryngitis, laryngitis, asthma, or appendicitis, hit? Cups or rabies, hit. Dead. Cups or measles, have you had a diagnosis of cirrhosis, biosmosis with a mononucleosis, plus chlorosis, plus stenosis, plus paracnosis, of psychosis? Have you ever been short of breath? Well, cheer up, 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 cheer up, 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 cheer up, 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 cheer up. No matter how bad your condition, I have news that will tickle your ears. <laughs> I was dead. There? Well, pretty sick. Till I saw a famous physician who hadn't seen a patient in years. He was nearsighted. He said, hello, young man, you are possibly the plumber. <laughs> I'm a patient, Dr. Hummer. Dr. Hummer said, hmm. <laughs> Dr. Hammer said, hmm, better see Dr. Singer. Dr. Singer said, oh, ah, 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 
noses and the vagal where the nasal. Tell me something, young man. You have had some diseases? Have I had? <laughs> when I was one, I had a. When I was two, I had a. When I was three, I had. By the time I was four. When I was six, I had a. At seven, I developed. When I was eight, I got a. By the time I was nine. Doctor, why am I always so tired? Doctor Singer said, ah, 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 and gave me the following prescription. Rix, gel, knib, at Zelman Helsichner, twice a day. Since that day, I haven't been sick, sir. That medicine did the trick, sir. And what was it? Don't ask me. I'll tell you. Jacobs, to hold a hand. It will give you new zest, new life, new enthusiasm. What I is it, Mother? No pennies. My husband is sick. If he had your medicine, maybe he would get well. Yeah, but go but away, Mother. Please, please. Please. One, one maybe bottle right here. Will you take well. one here? No, no, please. No, 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 no,
Where did you get it? Oh, in the water. Please, Yakov, don't send me away. I'll do anything you want. I'll be as hard as nails. My heart will turn to stone. Please, Yakov, I'll spill my own mother's teeth. I'll believe it when I see it. Get out. What? Get out! Oh, all right. I'll go. Right after supper. You get I'm... out of here! Well, it's my fish! I took you in and I'm throwing you out! Why, you illiterate numbskull, you! I'm, I'm not illiterate. You're not, huh? All right. Read that. Come on, read it. R read it? Read it. R read it. Read it. <coughs> yes, uh, read it. Uh, 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 but who can read on an empty stomach? I didn't... Read it and I'll give you supper. Uh, you, you will? Oh, well, that's different. It says, uh, uh, oh, oh, this is very interesting. Uh, your, your handwriting shows definite character. It shows your generous, wouldn't refuse food to a hungry man. Read it. Uh, read it. Uh, it says, uh, dear sir, it's as to whom it may concern. That's right. I was testing you. You were testing me. To whom it may concern. Best personal regards, Napoleon. See? There you are. I'd, uh, well, maybe I can't read or write, but I'm not illiterate. You're nothing. Just a millstone. Get out of here! A little... Get out! <laughs> Bye, Jacob. Bye. What a silly way to start a letter. <laughs> The sailor loves the sea when the wind blows fair. The Arab loves the desert and the sandwiches there. The farmers... Sandwiches. the bottom of the barrel. What do you want? Oh, I, uh, I thought perhaps you men wouldn't mind sharing a little of the food with us. On your way, tramp. We hardly got enough for ourselves. Come on, get on your way. Well, you just gave a little piece to the dog. The dog him. does something for his food. I want to tell you, go on, go away. That Wait a minute. Arnold, right, oh, come here. Roll over. Can you do that? It's not good way. Can you do that? I have a little piece Go of... Go away. Can you do that? Roll over? Let's see you do it. Come on. <laughs> Hurry up. Oh, lie come down. On. Lie down. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I bet he can run faster and you can. <laughs> no. no, 
of thanks out of you when it's fair and square. Bargains about. Mind if I just taste a few? I haven't had anything to eat in a couple of days. And I'd appreciate this. I uh, thank you very much. Don't put that heavy stuff on top of the crystal. Where's the wagon? Oh, now please go back. Stop, thief! Go get him! Go get him! Stop, Stop that thief! Is somebody over here, stop. Stop that country, you thief. Who, who, me? Oh, no, you've got the wrong person. The wrong man? Yes, sir, the horse followed me. Ask him. I'm innocent. Yes, I didn't. Good, then I... you'll hang with a clear conscience. Well, take him to jail. The horse take him will... away. Well, just take him away. Hold it. Hold it. Stop. I'm innocent. Ask the horse. I'm innocent. Hold it. Stop. Gizzy. Or is it Izzy? I never get that. Gizzy, Uncle. I'm Izzy. You can always tell by the strawberry mark. Well, never mind. The hospital. Have you cleaned it up? Oh, you can eat off the floors. We put sheets on the bed and we got the goats out of surgery. And I put charts on the foot of each patient's bed indicating the nature of their illness. Good. Now at least they'll know what they die from. All right. Well, I've patrolled all the roads leading to and from Brodney. So that unless the Inspector General disguises himself as a bird and decides to fly into the city, <laughs> he'll never get past me. Good. And the jail. Well, I've had new locks fitted to all the cells, burnt the rubbish. I even have a prisoner. Good. Who is he? Oh, I don't know. Just a tramp. I apprehended him in the city square. He was trying to make off with a horse and wagon. The one we were loading was silver. My silver? My valuables? Well, yes, but I got him before he... Who is he? Where did he come from? Oh, I don't know. Why? I, I never saw him before. He's just a common tramp, uh, just in rags. Catch him? Question him? Well, it was so near lunchtime. And he was, he was just a common tramp. The Inspector General, oh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Why not a tramp? In France, when he first appeared as a traveling shoemaker, in Clemente, he was disguised as a peddler. And here, why not a tramp? A horse and wagon. My horse and wagon. The wagon I loaded with valuables to ship out of town. Yes, sir. Of course, the evidence he needed. Now he knows. I would like to take this opportunity to tender my resignation. My chair of office. My fault. Promptly at three o'clock. Well, I guess I can hold out till then. Wednesday and Saturday. Wednesday? But today is Thursday. What is time? Look, I haven't eaten two days. 
What kind of a jail is this where they won't even give a man a crust of bread? All I want is a little piece of food. That... This is a nice jail. Really, it is. We've had some wonderful hangings here. Oh, it's very nice. What's wonderful about that hanging? Oh, you should see the ceremony and the last meal. The last meal? Yes. Can you, can you order anything you like? Anything. The town of Brodney may have its faults, but they certainly do it right when they hang a man. They do? Mm. The mayor and all the commissioners come dressed in their finest clothes, oh. and the town band assembles at the door of the jail. Oh. Such beautiful music. Yes. And they play the prisoner right up to the gallows. Oh. Mm. I'll never forget one hanging we had a few years ago. Oh, what's it, that? It was what? What's that music? It must... You arrested for? No, nothing. I'm innocent. The, the, the horse followed me and all that. The commissioners and everybody. And they brought the band. Is it the band? So who, who are they going to hang? The, um, the... There's only one prisoner here. Oh. Well, if he doesn't finish his last meal, do you... Help! No, no. Help! Easy, easy. Help! 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 You let me out of here. You let me out of this jail, do you hear? Or I'll go right to the emperor. Help! Help! What a fine, crooked village this must be. Thieves you must have here. Help, let, help, let me out. Help, help, help. Help, help. Let, let thieves Call you must trend, have here. Eh? Why did he put me in this jail? Let, help. Open that gate. That's Open the no gate. trial, no justice. I, I, I will report this to the emperor. I, I, there's, there's the crooked village, this is. I, 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 don't you anybody come near me. Don't you come near me. If any of you come near me, you there's no man to be released. Uh, there's this time in the jail. Uh, may I please explain? If, if you've been put to any, any inconvenience, I assure you, my, my colleagues and myself are, are extremely distressed. Oh, this is a small community, not rich or powerful, but a... But citizens or travelers, be they humble or exalted to the highest degree of nobility, be they vagrants or inspector generals appointed by the emperor, in our village they find courtesy, honor, and strict adherence to the principles of justice. Mend us, your excellency, and we will obey. Believe me, your highness, I understand and value your desire to remain incognito. Permit me to compliment you on your amazing disguise. It, it, it's most convincing. In a corrupt city with dishonest officials, such a strategy would be most effective. But here, in our fair village of Rodney, we beg you to accept our hospitality. Why don't we discuss the entire situation at dinner? Now, here, uh, Bernice, go to my house. Tell my wife we have an honored guest. Tell her I want a feast, a banquet. Your Excellency, how can we talk in these sordid surroundings? At my home, dinner would be just about ready. A roast, a turkey, several kinds of game, a rack of lamb, a magnificent pot roast. And you probably will want a change of clothes, uh, quick, some suitable clothing for His Excellency. Where will I get the clothing? Uh, your uniform. Take it off. Now? Now! Your Excellency. Yes, uh, yes, yes. Our Chief of Police regrets his mistake. He will be delighted to have you wear his uniform until your luggage arrives. Kovacs will be honored. But it's, he's tall, isn't he? I know he is. Is he going to stay long? I hope not. Well, what's taking you so long, hurry? But I can't get it. It's, it's too tight. Too tight, indeed. I wonder if the Inspector General will think it's too tight. Tell me, did you notice the color of his eyes? Yes. Are they blue? Are they yes. brown? Yes. Are they black? I think. Yes. Well, what are you staring at, stupid? I'll get busy and set the table. And you two, listen. When you serve, see that your hands are clean. And you, Bella, you remove the dishes when I ring. And you, Ladislas, you bring on the fresh course and move quickly and see that you don't spill anything on our guest. Did you hear me? What did I say? I take it, Bella Foots. When? When you ring the bell. All right. And Lisa, you help serve the wine and do anything else you can to make yourself useful. Come, Burgess. Put on a clean apron. Did he say anything about Paris or Budapest or Vienna? That dress was too tight. So tight it made her eyes pop out. This is my humble home, Your Excellency. It isn't large, but I have only a small pittance of a salary. Please to enter. Maria, my jewel! Maria! Maria! Your Excellency!
Excellency, and this is my wife, Maria, His Excellency, the Inspector General. Oh, great privilege, Your Excellency. May your visit here be pleasurable. Welcome, Your Excellency. Your hat, Your Excellency, and your sword. Oh, there are. Your Excellency. Oh, my wife, Catherine. Your Excellency. Pleasure. 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 May I present Mrs. Burbish, Your Excellency. She's the wife of our tax collector and, and chemist. Uh, here we are, Your Excellency, a little more wine. And a toast to His Majesty, the Emperor. Long live the Emperor! <laughs> Uh, this is it, and his twin brother, Gizik. They're in charge of our postal department. Uh, the Inspector General is Zick. I'm not Zick, he's Gizik. Oh, it's very easy to tell by the strawberry market. No, 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 no. some other time. Uh, one more aperitif just before dinner. Dinner is served. Ah, yes. dinner is served, Your Excellency. One last drink, Your Excellency. A toast. Here's to the righteous. To the right righteous. Here's to the evildoer. <laughs> is beautiful. My husband has one just like oh, it. I do hope <laughs> you're not disappointed in the simple fare we serve here. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I would like to propose a toast to the fairest city in all the land, to the home of courage, integrity, and honesty, to Brodney. To Brodney. Uh, Amelia. I don't suppose Your Excellency would have found it comparable to the sumptuous table they set at the Emperor's Palace. Oh, of course, I do wish Piero had given me a little more time. You know, they... Maria! His Excellency's glass is empty. Oh, leave that wine to His Excellency. Please, ma'am, quickly, quickly. Yes, ma'am. After we've eaten, uh, perhaps you'll tell me about your life in Vienna. And, uh... Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry, Your Excellency. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't that's, mean to. Well, it's just that's an accident. So... Why, you clumsy drudge! Oh, uh, uh, it was nothing, just merely an accident. I, I always spill wine oh. all over my suit. It, oh. it, it was she didn't room. mean it. It was just what is the uniform? Oh, water. It's very good for the wool. Oh. It's just that she didn't mean oh. it. It's just an accident. It's just nothing at all. <clears throat> Thank you. 
We undressed you. And we? And you were in a very playful mood, Your Excellency. Oh, what a naughty Inspector General. What? Oh. Maria! All right, all right. Good morning, Your Excellency. May I express the hope that you spent a comfortable night? Uh, what, what time is it? <clears throat> it's just past nine. But you've ample time for a substantial breakfast before you start your tour of inspections. Uh. Inspection? Yes, our program is 11 a.m. reception at the town hall, inspection of the Guard of Honor and a band concert, and at 11.30, a parade to the jail, at 12.15, public hanging, uh, followed, uh, by, hanging? Uh, followed by lunch. This, uh, this hanging, it isn't anyone I know, is it? Oh, it's just some rascal out alert police arrested. The rogue was impersonating a police officer. Impersonating a... Uh, yes, he uh, made off with a sack of apples from a local fruit merchant. Yes, impersonating an officer. Uh, hanging is... Much too good for him. Of course. Now I realize your excellency wants to continue his journey as soon as possible. Yes, I must. I must go immediately. I've uh, no oh. no receptions. No. Why, your excellency, I'm broken hearted. I was looking forward to inspecting our little village. Yes, uh, it's a wonderful village, finest village I've ever seen. Uh, but I'd be kind enough to say so in your official report. Yes, yes, of course. But I must get dressed. Yes, uh, yes, of course. I, I'll uh, assemble the villagers uh, and the band to speed his excellency yeah. on his way. Where are my clothes? Uh, clothes. Kovac, the uniform. Well, it's badly stained. I was having it clean. Uh, well, then, a fresh uniform for His Excellency. Yes, but where will I get one for His Excellency? Well, yours will do. Well, but this is brand new. This wouldn't fit His Excellency. Uh, uh, Gizek, Gizek, take care of this. Yes, yes, yes to be tailored, yes, Your Excellency. Yes. They can rectify that. I want a perfect fit for His Excellency in a half an hour. What do you want? One half, it's quite all right. Hey, hey. 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 Short time you've been here, you've captured the hearts of our people. What a pity you have to leave. Well, well I, I thought I might be coming back again soon. No, I, no, 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 don't change your plans on our account. Quick, His Excellency's horse, uh, the Inspector General's horse. Thank you. Uh, uh, 
send the horse back as soon as no, I... No, keep it. I keep it. Grisha, help His Excellency come out. Oh, Your Excellency, great star of wisdom. Yakov! Exalted one, do not be angry with your devoted servant. I've hunted for you everywhere. Oh, forgive me, great master. Forgive me, bestow mercy on your unworthy servant. Forgive me, you numbskull, or I'll break you in half. Oh, be general, master. It's all be right, general. Yakov. I'm the lowly servant of this great lord, the but Inspector General. Due to my negligence, we were separated on the road. Oh, I, I was just leaving. Oh, yes. I must speak to you first, master. The Emperor has sent you confidential instructions, a secret message. Please, But he was just leaving. The Inspector General will decide that for himself. What are you doing? Yeah, you mustn't close the door, Yakov. I'll never be able to get out. They're marvelous. Yakov, why did you stop me? I had a chance to get away. Now they may hang me. Quiet, you idiot. Why should they hang the Inspector General? I you've got to stay. They lay the whole town at your feet. I don't want the town. I've got everything I want. I just want to Wait get out of here. You've got everything you want. Yes. What have you got? I didn't let anything slip through what my fingers. You got? Bite and scratch. Steal and take. Doggy dog, see? Spoons. Uh -huh. Three spoons. Uh -huh. And these fat thieves are loaded with gold. But, Jakov, you don't understand. We can sell the spoons, buy a new wagon, leave this town. All right, right. Go on. Run away. I was right in the first place. You haven't got an honest bone in your body. Honest? Oh, uh, wait a minute, Jakov. I don't understand. Only a few days ago you kicked me out because you said I wasn't a good thief. I, I kicked you out, yes. I now... tear my heart into a little bit to <coughs> drive from evil company, <coughs> and this is a rant I guess. For once in your miserable life you have a chance really to do some good. You ask not to talk. So what happens? You want to run like a rabbit to save your own shabby skin. Never a thought of the people in the village. Nothing but selfishness. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, Jacob. I prowl to every corner of this village. Georgie, what misery exists here. The mayor and his officials tax the very life out of this town. And not content with that, they steal. 35,000 crowns they collected from the little children and their poor parents to buy a pipe organ for the church. Then they trump up a cock and bull story that the organ was destroyed, but I know that they sold it in another town. No. Now, by tonight, we can make them pay 35,000 crowns for protection. Then I buy back the organ, you present it to the town, and we expose these rascals. May I become a wandering gypsy if I'm not telling the truth? But you are a wandering gypsy. That proves I'm telling the truth. Now, to work, Georgie. The most important thing is that you make them understand that you know how crooked they are. They'll shower you with gold. Hey, 35,000 crowns, Jaco. Do you think they'll give it to me just like that? They'll give you more. Never fails. It's even easier when you're an inspector general. Sure, but I don't know how to be an inspector general. Well, that's very simple. You have to behave like one. But how? I don't... Oh, how? Why? What? Don't bother me with silly technicalities. You're the inspector general. Be big, strong, firm. <coughs> Gentlemen, I have good news for you. The Inspector General has decided to remain indefinitely. He demands an inspection of the financial affairs of Brodny, and he will meet with you at the town hall at 2 o'clock. Be big, be strong, be firm, says Yakov. But if it doesn't work, whose neck will they jerk? Whose block will they knock off? Not Yakov. Be an inspector general. What does an inspector general do? Inspect general? No. An inspector general generally inspects. That is. They expect him to inspect generally, if they're expecting an inspector general. But an exceptionally generous inspector general who made an exception and had no inspection would cause suspicion, which in my condition I couldn't accept. Thank you. However, if people unsuspecting now accept without detecting an imposter who's not posted as a pedigreed inspector, could this palpable imposter say a gypsy or a costa? Could he possibly get past them by his posture? In two words, unlikely. So it is not a question of to flee or not to flee, but to be or not to be. And if so, how? Should I be arrogant? Should I be elegant? Should I be smart? 
A roaring Russian hussar. Or very British empire. Or like the KGB in these, who already eats the cheese. While he says, no, thank you, please. Be smart. I must examine every side of me. The long, the narrow, the wide of me. The Dr. Jekyll under the hide of me. If I value my anatomy, the skinny and the fat of me, how shall I start to play the part? Should I be arrogant? Up off your knees! Stop licking my boots! Elegant. Sugar. A lump. Lemon. A squeeze. Cream. A dribble. Tea. Never touch it. Oh, smart. If they don't know what you should know, they won't know what you would know. Arrogant. Elegant. Smart. If you say so. And if not so. So but so. If you talk to them, ya ta ta ta, you only waste your breed. Laugh at them, ha 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 ha, they're all you far beneath. Talk and you show your ignorance, laugh and you show your teeth. Ha ah, ah. Gentlemen, if you will just step aside for one moment, I should be very happy to talk to this unfortunate wretch. Thank you. The course of action you should act on that I've actually planned is a smasher. A lot of thought I put in it. If you casually cover up your mouth with your hand, you will never put your foot in it. Never, 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 never put right. your foot no, in it. really, gentlemen, please. Sneak a sniff in of snuff. Solve your difficulties with ease. Just stand around and wait for them to sneeze. No, it ain't. And you'll see which way will blow the breeze. Pay no attention to what he says, do it my way. My way. My way. My way. And you show your ears, you show your it, your you don't care about me. That isn't true. Mm. If we didn't care, would we talk this way? Things are not as bad as they look, Gypsy boy. No, sir. They are much worse. And remember. A tear in the eye is worth two in the bush. Yes, sir. Then how do I pay my heart? Be elegant, be elegant, be smart. Be elegant, be elegant, be smart. With you, I agree, all three of me, you need no longer linger. I'll give him the fist. Give him the fist. Give him the wrist. Give him the wrist. Give him the finger.
everything in order, Your Excellency. How do you account for this? Well, well, uh, yes. Well, there were no taxes that day, Excellency. Would you put your official signature to the books? Uh, what is this? Well, it's the very best we have, Your Excellency. We're not a very rich community. sign this until I've, uh, uh, You paid. can examine the books more closely at the house, Your Excellency. Yes, an excellency idea. We shall see what we shall see. And all I saw was this medicine show. Uh, the fat gypsy was selling his stuff and his partner had his head on a plate. Yakov, that soldier. Uh, and, uh, 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 Who is that man? That's His Excellency, the Inspector General.
Yaakov. I cannot stay any longer to love George. Oh, hi. <clears throat> uh, this is the kitchen, isn't it? Well, uh, you uh, go right ahead. I'm <clears throat> just inspecting. Um, uh, yes, uh, oh. <clears throat> Fine, just fine. Uh, now tell me, is there another way out? Out? O U F, out. Oh, you're not leaving, Your Excellency. Oh, I have to. I can't stay another minute. That there's another town I have to inspect. Now, right now, people are waiting. I, how do I get out? I can't believe it. You can't believe what? You can't believe I have another town to inspect? Oh, of course I do, Your Highness. Oh, please don't be angry with oh, me. Oh, I wasn't angry. I. You were so kind last night. I thought you would stay. And it gave me new hope. Well, the whole village is looking to you for help. Yes, well, I thought perhaps on my way back I'd... Oh, Your Excellency, such plundering and misery. It's terrible, but you should see this other town. It's... it's oh, they need me very badly. Uh, people are waiting, receptions, and... Uh, I see. I... I really mustn't disappoint them. I... <clears throat> well, I'd better be going. I'm... I'm sorry you won't be more friendly. Friendly? Why should I be friendly? I don't care if I hang for it, I'm gonna say what I think. You're as bad as the rest of them. Worse, because you have the power to do good and you run away. I'll stay. I can get the organ back. It didn't burn, I know where it is. Well, then you do care about the people. Of course I do. Well, the whole town will be so happy. I want you to be happy, Lisa. Oh, I don't count, Your Excellency. I, I'm just a kitchen maid and I'll always be. That's no way to look at life. Things can change overnight. After all, I wasn't born an inspector general. It just happened. Come on, smile. I mean, my mother didn't like my father's wife. 
Uh, may I have this? Book? Oh, no. This looks rather like you, uh, but uh, older, of course. Is it a relative of yours? Oh, um, yes, it's my father. Your father? Uh, Madame Canabi, wife of His Excellency, oh. Peter Canabi, age 46, mother of 12 boys. Oh, uh, well, that was a disguise. Oh. Uh, my, my father was a spy in, in the war, and uh, he uh, always used to disguise himself as my mother. Your father? No, no, my mother. Oh. <laughs> I, I was 19 before I could tell them apart. Canabi, is that uh, your family name? Uh, yes, uh, Farful Canabi. Oh, oh, what an unusual name. Isn't it? <laughs> it sounds like a morning breeze is rustling through the leaves and the willows. <laughs> uh, what does it mean? Uh, oh, I've had uh, some kind of soup, I think it. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, where were you born? Uh, well, uh, I, I... Let me have the book and I'll, I'll yeah. tell you all about it. Yes. Oh. Uh, some, some, some night when we're alone, I'll... Uh, perhaps tonight. Oh. Uh, I want to hear everything, Farfel. You don't know how I yearn to live. What it means to be married to a man who doesn't understand me. He's a peasant, a coarse, uncultured pig of really? a man. Yes, I was forced to marry him. Oh. I'm an attractive woman, am I not? Yes, I'm but... still in the first bloom of my youth, am I not? Yes, but... I'm desirable, am I not? Yes, but... Could any I... man wish for a more lovely, intelligent, responsive woman than I am? No. <laughs> oh, Farfel, you say the most... Beautiful thing. Oh, well, I really must be going upstairs oh. now. Oh. <laughs> you will help me, Parcel, won't you? Promise. Yes, I, I promise. When we get to Paris, I won't be a burden to you. I swear. Forgive me. Oh. May I have a word with your excellency? What do you want? I throw myself on your mercy. Please, Your Excellency, for the sake of my family. Oh, what is it? What have you done? The tax records. It wasn't my idea to falsify them. The mayor, my own uncle. And Telecki, oh, there's a burglar for you. Now, I admit I take bribes, but what kind of bribes? Puppy dogs, that's all. Just puppy, puppy dogs? Puppy dogs, yes. Oh, what kind of puppy oh, dogs? Oh, all kinds. Oh, I like puppy dogs. Oh, you dogs. do? Yes. I think you'll have them, Your Excellency. Oh, forgive me. Yes, all 60 of them. And here, here's uh, just a little gift to show you how much I... Uh, your Excellency, who is it? It is I, Telecki, superintendent of the school here. <gasps> he mustn't find me here. Oh, well, he's he just a member of the council. It really doesn't matter. Come in. Your Excellency, if I may have a moment of your time, I have something that may interest you. Uh, uh, you see, I have the best interest of the state. Oh, I would never tell you this. You understand? Yes, well, uh, uh, come, come to the point, Telecki. Uh, Telecki, yes. Uh, to, to like Sometimes a man must decide between duty and friends, and... I feel it is my duty to advise you of the vice and corruption in the city of Brodney. This isn't much, but if you will just accept it as a loan, if you like, it will help save the... Oh. Can I see you a moment, Your Excellency? It is Gizzik, the postmaster. Gizzik, he hates me. If he should find me here. Come in. Uh, come in. I'm a poor man, Your Excellency. Please accept all this. That's all I have. The temptation was too strong. The others stole more than I did. I... They did? Who is that? Oh, come with me. Oh, they got to hide in the closet here. Oh. Uh, can I come in? Oh, Inspector General. Yes? Your Excellency, I want to thank you. In fact, I must speak to you. Uh, the, oh, um, my uniform looks looks very nice on you. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm having one made in black with uh -huh. silver across here. What is it, Kovac? Oh, I guess I might as well make a clean breast of it. Won't you uh, sit down? Yes, thank you. You see, it wasn't for me. It was for my wife. My wife is not a contented woman. She wants clothing and money and jewels. Uh -huh. Oh, I love my family, but I'd give my six kids to get rid of my wife. <laughs> so, there's only a thousand crowns in uh, here. A thousand crowns? Yeah. If you just give me a chance to sell the jewels, won't you uh, sit down? Oh, oh, oh. In the bed. In, in, in the bed. Come in. What are you doing here? I thought I'd just put you in the closet.
resting, Your Excellency. Oh, I always rest. The doctor says it's good for my liver. Well, maybe I'd better come back. No, it's all right. Uh, what is it you want? Well, I just wanted to make a confession. I'll take it. Well, well, come, come. I'm as guilty as the rest of them, but I... Oh, I mustn't be found here. Where do I hide? On the bed. You're not... Well, are they in the chair? No, no. Under the bed. Yes, sir. On, on top of the bed. On, on top of the bed. Oh, uh... Come in. You don't have to put on uh, any air. Uh, has, uh, has the message come from the uh, emperor? What? Uh, uh, go, go downstairs and see if my luggage has arrived. What's the matter with uh, you? Well, what's, what's the weather outside like? Look, uh, if this was uh, living for uh, There's a lot of people hiding in there. Hiding? They, who, 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 the council members, they came with bribes. They bribes? Want, bribes? Money? Money. They want money. Where is it? It's uh, why? Uh, come in. Your Excellency, may I speak to you for a moment? Yes, of course. Privately. Mm -hmm. Those traitors. They all brought him money. You're wrong. Gentlemen, I shall ask you to leave the room. The mayor. And you too, Mr. Chief of Police. Yes? His Highness cannot tolerate this honesty. No? Then why did he accept the bribe? A few measly crowns. His Excellency has many private charities. I can assure you not a penny of that money will ever find its way into the pockets of the Inspector General. Well, uh, what do you want us to do? It's possible, a uh, bare possibility, mind you, that a uh, few substantial contributions from you might... Uh, how much? Shall we say 100,000 crowns? Hundred thousand crowns. I'll be a pauper. Very well, keep your money. You can jingle it in your pocket. All the way up the steps to the gallows. He wouldn't do anything like that. He would, if he has. But he might be inclined to show leniency if he can realize the charitable dream of his life. A much needed addition to the cathedral he built in Vienna. A new church organ. A fireproof organ. Fireproof. He knows. He knows. None of us will be involved. Who do it? Bittle, the woodchopper. Bittle, the woodchopper. You do as I tell him. He has to. I can get him tonight. During the reception, when all this confusion and noise. But if something goes wrong, nothing will go wrong. Are you sure? Yes. After midnight, as soon as everyone's had plenty to drink, one of us will get him into the barn where Bittle, the woodchopper, is waiting. He will dispose of the body. Good. You'd think I wanted to seal it. I want to count it. Well, I've already counted. You can't count. Well, it's very heavy. There must be enough money here to buy back the organ. All and right. I'd give it to me. I'll go get the organ. Oh, no, not without me. Look, you can't leave here. They, they need you for the reception. Well, then we'll go after the reception. Look, Yakov, there's an old Hungarian proverb. Trust everybody, but keep the organ money in sight. Uh, come in.
Oh, Georgie, you're what? such a lucky guy. Well, what is it? Have a beautiful girl like that fall in love with you. Well, read it to me, Yako, please. My dearest darling Inspector General, from the moment I first saw you, I knew you were the one. At night, I dream of your manly figure, and your handsome, gentle features drive me mad with passionate love. The sound of your voice thrills me beyond words, and if I cannot have you for my very own, I must surely die. Is there any more? Does she say anything else? Yes, dear. P.S. Please meet me in the barn at midnight. Please meet me in the barn at midnight. Huh? Jakob, what does P.S. mean? Um, P.S. Mm -hmm. Please, sweetheart. Please, sweetheart. Meet me in the barn at midnight. Carriage waiting, Father. The, the carriage? Yes, my things are all packed. Oh. I'll meet you at the stable after the dance. Well, yeah, Papa, I uh, can't. Uh, 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 I have the money. Has he sent in his report? Tell him I'll deliver it to him tonight. Good. But we can't settle the matter in here. Where would you suggest? Outside, in the barn. At midnight? At midnight. He'll be there. I'll go and get ready. I'll see you later, Papa. I got your note. You're wonderful. At the barn. The barn. Thank you. Out of my way. I'm Colonel French Castille. Comrade, lifelong friend of His Excellency, the Inspector General. We've been friends for many, many years. Yes, sir. <coughs> Announce me at once, young lady. Uh, yes, Colonel. Hmm? Oh, young man. Uh, probably the eyes, honored Colonel. Yes, yes. I was snow blinded in the Alps in the Italian campaign with His Majesty the Emperor. The Emperor. Long life for His Imperial Majesty the Emperor. Oh. Oh, I'm so sorry. You idiot. Yes. Where are Oh, there you are. You blithering idiot. Now, where are my glasses? Oh, they fell down on the floor. I'm stone blind without my glasses. I will be look careful now. Be I careful. They're on the floor somewhere. Yes. Now, don't no, step on them. No, I shan't. Oh, I am so oh. Look. Oh, you I'm stupid oh. fool. Now, look. I'll have to go and get another pair. No, no, no. You just stay right here. Hold on, Your Excellency. I shall make the announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the honor to announce the unexpected arrival of Colonel Franz Gastine of the Emperor's Royal Guards. Comrade in arms and lifelong friend of His Excellency, the Inspector General. Well. The Colonel is quite near side, doesn't have the misfortune to break his glasses. Imagine, he broke his glasses. Leopold. Oh, no, Colonel, Leopold. you're Leopold. kissing the wrong man. Hmm? This is the Inspector General. Y y oh, of course, how stupid of me. Yes, the Inspector General is really a much shorter man. <clears throat> Leopold, this is indeed a joy, a joy. Oh, I noticed that you've, uh, you shaved your mustache. Uh, my, my, oh, uh, yeah, it used to tickle, uh, not me, that is. It's I... all right, it's all right. It makes you look much younger. And your voice, it seems to sound much more youthful. But not always, I've... Arachitis. My friends, this is the man who single-handed routed an entire regiment of Italians at the Battle of Levengretto. And then he pushed their own cannon into position and fired at the retreating enemy. Do you remember that, my boy? It's nothing. An no. Austerlitz. I, I didn't do much. Oh, he didn't do much. He just dove into a raging river and rescued four wounded soldiers. And then on the way, he cut down ten Spaniards with his, with his saber. <laughs> the morale was very low, but with this magnificent courage, he plunged into the fray and he led his men with a song, the victory song of the 94th Regiment. Onward, onward, never looking back. Army... How does it go, Leopold? His Excellency doesn't like to be reminded of that huh? tragic day. 
But he might be persuaded to sing something lighter, more gay. In a little while, I can't... Oh, splendid, splendid, then I can get my glasses from here. Oh, no, sir, no, sir. Why don't you sing something now and honor the colonel? Sing, you imbecile, before he gets his glasses. Uh, could I borrow your drink for the song, please? <clears throat> and now? And now, I, for my friend and comrade in arms, I, I'd like to do a gypsy... Mm, a gypsy drinking song. My wine, he took my wine. There's plenty now. No, but one swallow and he's It'll be all over. What are you for? The wine, it's deadly poison. I poison? mixed it. You yes. did? What? My brother's so thoughtful of you. I, for years, I've misjudged you. Poison for him. Oh, no, no, no. It was for me. For you? Yes, I couldn't stand it any longer. I even wrote a confession. You what? It's a confession. Whisking through the whispering woods on a wild Romany pony with a yak 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 and a yak said rock and a yak said rock said Roni rides the gypsy, the gypsy, the gypsy, the gypsy. The world thinks him tipsy and careless and free, but oh, the poor gypsy. His lot is not what it ought to be for. Night and day and day and night, there's a man there sick of obeying with a whip in his hand. Over oh, gypsy he stands, and this is what he is saying. Hum. Um, the gypsy sing, gypsy dance, gypsy laugh, gypsy cry, gypsy live, gypsy die, gypsy drink. Gypsy, drink to goodbyes and drink to hellos, drink to the open, drink to the close. Drink to me only with thine eyes, and I will drink with my nose. And so we drink. But first we sing. How can you sing gypsy song without gypsy chorus? So ladies and gentlemen, I will ask you for a little favor. You help me, we'll have a little chorus. It'll sound beautiful, wonderful. I will give you a little beat. You make for me zoom, all right? Please, everybody. Zoom. That's very nice, but we get a little sharper, you know, more in the mask, the diaphragm. Ha, ha, here I zoom. All right, please, all right? Zoom. Very nice, now short, huh? Zoom. zoom. I like it. I like it. Once more, please, now. Zoom. Very pretty. This group here, I will make for you stock stock. Please, everybody understand? Stock stock, all right? Stock stock. Very nice, all right? Stock stock. No, I didn't make it yet. Pardon me, ladies and gentlemen. Please, small stock stock. Stock stock. stock. Very nice. Please. Stock stock. stock. That's so pretty. Low. Stock stock. I'll be with you in two minutes. Now, this little grub here, I'd like you to make a little favor on me. All the little tiny pussycats, those sweet, gentle little faces. Make for me, ha, 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 this way, all right? Please, everybody, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, now, let this fast rehearse, eh? Everybody, listen once again, please. Ha, ha, ha. Very pretty. I love you to pieces. Please. How's a chemotin Do you want something?
something to drink, maybe? Oh, no, thank you, Excellency. And so we drink. But first we play. Pardon me, I slipped my bow. My fingers need a raisin. <laughs> nice. I like it. Makes me cry. Who, me? Play gypsy sing, gypsy dance, gypsy smile, gypsy weep. Gypsy blink, gypsy shrink, gypsy drink, gypsy. And so we drink. But first we are down. Excuse me, ladies, I have something uh, to oh, uh, I, I beg your pardon, Your Excellency. I hope you're enjoying the evening. Yes, I, uh, very much. I, uh, really have to, uh...
are you, clumsy ox? What's the matter with you? You're crazy? You know, you could have killed me with that. Why do you have to work so late at night anyway? Whatever you have to chop can wait till morning, can it? Now, now, now go on to bed. Go on, I've got to meet somebody here. Go, go on to bed. Aren't you the Inspector General? Yeah. That doesn't mean I can't meet anybody here, does it? No. No. You don't believe it, do you? Read that. Don't go near the barn. Hey, Lisa. They're going to kill you. Yeah, and only two hours ago, she... Would you reread that again, please? Says, don't go near the barn. They are going, going to, to kill you. you. Uh... Yakov. Yakov, my best friend. <laughs> Where's your master? My master? You know how. Now, gentlemen, let's get down to business. For a price, I'll get rid of the evidence. The money. The money. I don't think I want any supper. Oh, no. the emissary of the Emperor, General Leopold Nikolai Tarantino, His Excellency, the Inspector General. I mean, uh, he gave us no chance to think of deception, Your Majesty. Uh, I mean, Your Excellency. Isn't that right, Gizik? And is it? He's Gizik. You can always tell by the strawberry mark on my leg. Boy, it's as big as you. <laughs> Hello. 
I'm Gizek. Here's Gizek. Silence! Excuse me, Your Excellency. First of all, Mayor, I want that trap. Yes, Send out every man available. Yes, Your Excellency. Meanwhile, I will write out an order for his execution. Yes, Your Excellency. He will hang today, Your Excellency. I promise you that. And test the gallows. I am Gizek. Oh, never Silence! Citizens, here is the organ, the one that was stolen. Uh, we, we gave the money we had, and, and it's now it's back. Uh, I'll, I'll see you in a minute. Here, take the organ to the church. I'll be back in a minute. Come, there. Come on, man, I may need you. Follow me, man. Wait me. I'm glad I found all you gentlemen together. This town is going to be cleaned up from so top to bottom. this is the Inspector General. Yes. Mr. Mayor, I'd like you all to know that the corruption in this city is at an end. I want a complete and honest report from you, and a complete report of your tax records. I want a report from you in the morning. Uh, who is this man? Tell him to get out. This is official business. Why, Mr. Mayor! In the name of the Emperor, I call upon you to produce all the tax records and books of this village if immediately. If your Excellency will permit me to interrupt, let me show you this communication which has just arrived. Silly girl. And out of business. I want to... You filthy vagabond. This is the Inspector General. How do you do? We must have a long talk together sometime. I want to look at all these... Books. Your Excellency, it was an honest mistake. The imposter will hang. This is preposterous. Your Excellency, you Excellency will be so good as to write out the death warrant. Uh, 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 just, just one uh, minute, uh, please. Uh, sir. Arrest that man. I'm warning you. I'm warning all of you. This will be reported to the Emperor. Lock him up. This is an outrage. Uh, I can't do it. Why not? Oh, one thing I can't write. Oh, <laughs> I can't read either. And even if I could write, I couldn't sign this death warrant. I'm... Uh, I'm not the Inspector General. Oh, he's just soft-hearted. Here, I'll you sign can't it. Do it. Yeah, oh, if you can, it's all over. I couldn't sign this. That man is completely innocent. I hanged. I only did it so I could get the money to buy the organ back. I... Lock them up again, put them in chains, send them to the gallows! Oh, Your Excellency, I'm so sorry. Oh, nothing like this has ever happened to me before, but I assure you they'll go to the gallows, Your Excellency. The Sister. gallows will wait its turn, but not now. But, but Your Excellency, the... This man will not hang. Huh? First honest man I've met since I left Budapest. Whatever you say, Your Excellency, but... The, that, but my, my chain of office, Your Excellency... We'll put something else around your neck. Thank you, Your Excellency. With band music? Uh, what'd you say? With band music? With band music. <laughs> I, I, oh, I couldn't take this, Your Excellency. I, I can't even read or write. I, I have no education. Uh, what you have is much better. Please, Your Excellency. Uh, my credentials, my medal, when, when my you said that,
जाए